well, well. <laughs> it's about that time. You ain't touch your DJ Losa. A broadcasting live at ZBC Radio. In the house, we got the big man, Rocky. Anyasha. And Flavor P. In a moment, we'll be getting straight into the interview. BC Radio, your station of choice. Playing 24 hours of music. Music non-stop. non-stop. Uh, like promised earlier on, uh, we in touch with uh, Rocky in the house. Hey, yo, Rocky, how are you, man? Yo, man, what's happening? Uh, pretty fine, pretty fine. It's a pleasure being with you on uh, ZBC Radio. Uh, yeah, it's a pleasure listening to radio, man. What's up? Ah, uh, not too much. Yeah, we just wanted to get a glimpse. It was hard to get you over the days. I had to look yeah. at um, uh, Flavor P, trying to find out where you were. And fortunately, I had you yeah. out of Zimbabwe. Uh, can you actually give us a brief uh, insight on what projects you're working on right now? Uh, right now, um, I was doing uh, just some international tours so that I can promote the new album, the Karma album. That's my new uh, production that I'm, uh, I've been doing. So uh, we've been working with a whole lot of uh, Zimbabweans in and outside of Zimbabwe. Uh, the biggest uh, thing was to go outside of Zimbabwe and to look for all the people that have left out in a lot of uh, our loops, especially with uh, marketing, recording as well. We discovered a lot of talent that's popular everywhere else, but not in Zimbabwe and stuff. Uh, that's why a lot of these people will try to uh, move them into Zimbabwe and mainstream music. Uh, you've got your Juicer Dementors and everything, yeah? Uh, you've got Captain Flavor P, you've got all these people like Nash uh, that um, maybe at home they're not as popular as uh, some people are, but uh, they're holding it down for Zimbabwe everywhere else. Even you, uh, DJ Losa. Uh, we're trying to just have people know as much about uh, just uh, people have that, some insight into what the web is and uh, what role it's playing for Zimbabweans outside of Zimbabwe. Okay, like uh, basically going back, um, when you actually visited the uh, uh, United Kingdom, how did you see the, the music chain uh, with the shift of the continental plates? Uh, is there anything that uh, you actually learned from there? Yeah, um, the United Kingdom, uh, the thing that I actually wrote on my visa statement in order to get a visa was that um, the United Kingdom has a rich uh, performance arts culture and I would like to learn from that and um, hopefully take some, some of it back to my own country. And uh, that's what we did. We learned a lot of things to do with entertainment cultures. Uh, it's not really a culture uh, for entertainment in our home homeland. So as a result, a lot of the things that we will be doing, a lot of the things that we embark on and stuff, uh, it's, it's almost foreign to our people. So now we were just, uh, trying to uh, find ways of nurturing a performance and uh, entertainment culture. Make more things like uh, the Amakosi Arts Center so that uh, there's more trained musicians, actors, and models coming out of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe has a very good source of uh, untapped source if we're talking about uh, entertainers and broadcasters and the like. So we're hoping that uh, we can get Zimbabwe back into the culture of entertainment and stuff. That's quite impressive because uh, when somebody looks at your catalog in music, you got this big, big wagon of uh, music ever since the days of Chamembe. Uh, to my understanding, you were involved in the Chamembe, um, actually in producing, co-producing with Take 5, is that true? Yeah, um, I think uh, I started uh, just a phase right before the Chamembe. I was in the future phases, uh, towards the end of all that. Uh, I was a um, uh, backing vocalist and a lot of uh, those older, older tracks. So, uh, and then we were the leftovers from that the future phase and uh, I was taught production by a man known as Delani Makalima. The world knew him as the step aside. 
So when uh, the Chamembe period came, we had a bit of experience and uh, Take 5 helped me polish up my skills and um, I produced uh, half of the first one and uh, three quarters of the second one. When we come back, we, we got Nyasha in the house as well as Flavor P. Flavor P is in the United is in the USA and Nyasha is in Canada. Nyasha is a actually contemporary a fine uh, producer there. He's going to be also part of the whole situation trying to shed us light uh, on the productions he's been working on. If you've just in touch with us, welcome aboard ZBC Radio. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, uh, Rocky, all the way from Malaysia, is going to be yeah. going, uh, going back to Zimbabwe tomorrow. Uh, Rocky also mentioned that he's going to be in South Africa. Uh, by the way, are you going to be there on the 2010? Uh, yeah, 2010, that's the main reason that I'm running back home for now, so that I can do my groundwork for the celebration parties and all the um, host of parties that are... Uh, uh, because Zimbabwe is one of the co-hosts of the 2010 in uh, South Africa. So uh, we are, but as the main youth representative for Zimbabwean entertainment, I have to be there and just to make sure everything is set in pace, set in motion, make sure it's happening, you know, make sure uh, uh, the country knows and the whole of Africa knows that Zimbabwe is behind everything that's happening. No, that really works, that really works. Uh, you got uh, Nyasha. Yeah. Is Nyasha around? Yes, Nyasha is right here. Yes, sir. Yeah, Nyasha, welcome, right. up, welcome aboard to ZBC Radio. This is Thank your you, station. Thank you, Yeah, please, can you share some light uh, on the kind of uh, projects you've been working on? Uh, currently, I'm actually working on a project uh, with uh, one of uh, the Zimbabwean artists we have here in Canada. Her name is uh, Yvonne Uzande, and actually we are doing the vocals at the moment, and uh, we're actually in, in the mastering uh, stages of that uh, CD, so at the moment that's what I'm working on. Is it the same? Uh, okay, I had one uh, cut that you actually uh, produced uh, on that, um, is that same Vura, the remix? Yes, same Vura, the remix. Uh, that, uh, yes, <laughs> that, uh, that CD should be coming out. Uh, we expect to have it done by at least February of uh, 2010. Okay, well, that's super, that's super. So how do you see your collaborations? Big artists together. Oh, you guys, um, one from another continent, uh, two from the same region. How do you see uh, the music uh, going on in 2010 with this big collaboration going on? I believe uh, it's, it's time for Zimbabwe to, to shine, man. We've been, you know, uh, under the table for such a long time. We just want to, you know, shed our light to the whole world and show the world what we're capable of doing. So it's, it's, it's now our time. You know, we've been under so much pressure and, you know, the financial situation in Zimbabwe uh, has, you know, kind of crippled our talent. But right now it's just our time to shine. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Playing in the background to the listeners that might not know this song playing in the background, that was produced by Nyasha. A very sentimental song. Uh, where and where did you get the actual concept of producing this song? 